What's up YouTube? I am the one and only Shadow7201. You are currently tuned into the Brony Guide and I want to thank you for tuning in. Now today's episode <coughs> is buying merchandise. Now I know that doesn't seem hard, but some of you may be having difficulty with it. Now, first thing I want to say, obviously if you're buying your merchandise over the internet, using Amazon, eBay, Kijiji, whatever, this video obviously doesn't apply to you. However, if you are one of the less savvy people, this video may help you. <clears throat> now, the first tip that I want to give you is to pick a major retailer. And me, well I'm going to show you who I picked. <clears throat> That's right. I picked them. <clears throat> and I don't think they're going to be very happy about it. But, you know what? Who cares? Oh, hold on. Now, I'm going to get inside because it's freezing out here. <clears throat> Alright, now you guys are probably wondering why I picked Walmart for this. Well, I picked them because... Well, I picked them because of two reasons. One, <clears throat> I know that a lot of the Walmarts down in the U.S., they tend to carry a lot of My Little Pony stuff. And two, in my hometown, Walmart is the only retailer that sells My Little Pony stuff. So, I am currently on my way to the toy section. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, once I get there, I'll give you guys a second tip. So, see you then. Just thought I should show you guys this. Um, another sad knockoff. This one's from, uh, uh, Kid Connection. So, yeah. Apparently they're trying to jump on the pony bandwagon. And they failed. Horribly. Uh, there's actually another, there's actually a bigger set just down the hall here. So, that's it right there. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Okay, now, obviously, I've been inside for a while. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what I've been doing with the camera <clears throat> and uh, you know they've been looking at me kind of funny um, so yeah it's not because I have it's not because I've bought anything uh, because I haven't bought anything yet I actually don't have anything in my little basket here see yeah nothing in there yet <clears throat> so but uh, once you do get some stuff you know, expect expect to be stared at. So that's kind of my second. That's kind of my third tip. The first tip, though, is uh, be confident about it. Yeah, if it takes you one, two, maybe three tries to walk past the aisle, for me, it took it took me five. So yeah, if it takes you if it takes you a few tries to actually get into that aisle and grab something to buy. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. So, yeah. So, here we go. Okay, I'm currently in the aisle where they keep all my little pony stuff. Uh, unlike most of you guys, I'm not stateside, so I don't really get a really big selection. <clears throat> yeah, it's usually just a couple it's usually just a few things here and there. Uh, for instance, we got we got oh we got a my we got a Pinkie Pie's train and a little further down we got um you know some of the brush we got Twilight Sparkle brushable we got um one and two of the little sets here <coughs> and we got one of the wedding sets the um, 
the Philly Flower Girls, so Cuban Mark Crusaders. And the wedding set there. And just so soft Pinkie Pie and so soft Rainbow Dash and Spike, along with Twilight Sparkle's little RC car. So not a whole lot of selection. Probably just gonna buy one of these at random. So we'll see which one I get. All right, one thing that I thought I should mention: uh, most WalMarts do have, well, all of them actually have electronics departments. So you can usually find My Little Pony DVDs in there. Uh, I do know that this particular Walmart actually sold the Friendship Express and uh, the Royal Canterlot Wedding. I know because I've seen them, but uh, right now they only have one My Little Pony product. And it, it's scary. I mean, I'll just, I'll just show you because I don't, I don't even want to say it. <clears throat> The horror. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, hold on. Yeah. That's, um. I don't even know why that's on the shelf. So, okay. Okay, so. Right now, I'm actually in the clothing section, and um, can't really find what I'm looking for. <clears throat> uh, just so you guys know, I'm actually looking for the uh, brony t-shirts that Walmart has actually made and sold. Uh, just trying to show you guys what they look like, but um, obviously they don't sell them here. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a letdown. Um, oh, <clears throat> one thing that I want to say is, um, for all you bronies out there that, well, you're having a hard time being a brony. That's one in the section. Uh, yeah, if you're having a hard time being a brony, um, you know, people constantly teasing you and uh, vandalizing your property. <clears throat> and uh, you want to go out and buy stuff. What you can do is actually camouflage it. And by camouflage it, I mean make it sort of stealthy. You go shopping with the girl. You buy other products. You know, that sort of stuff. I've actually seen other bronies do this in other videos. So it makes it, it's, makes it easier and uh, makes it less difficult for people to tease you because they think that the pony stuff that's in your cart or basket is actually for the girl. <clears throat> or they think that it's for somebody else. Like me, I've always got an excuse for looking at it, for looking at pony stuff and uh, buying pony stuff. And that's, it's for my kid's sister. <clears throat> and I actually do have a sister, but she's not a kid anymore. She's in her 30s now. So, yeah, my, well, she's my half-sister, so, yeah, my dad's old. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, I'll, uh, talk to you guys once I get through checkout. So I will see you then. All right, now I just got out. Through, now I just got out of checkout. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that are a little concerned about checkout, if you think that people are gonna judge you while you're going through the checkout, don't really worry about it. Cause um, honestly, if they if they care about we, you what you're buying, yeah. It shouldn't even really matter because they should be worrying about their own stuff and whether or not they have enough money to pay for their stuff. <clears throat> so, kind of loud in here. I'm going to go outside where it is cold so you guys can hear me better. 
All right, hope that's better. <clears throat> but um, if you are really concerned about it, what you should do instead of going through the larger checkouts is you take the express checkouts or uh, if the store that you're shopping in actually has self checkouts, then you can go with that. <clears throat> uh, and if you guys are wondering what I bought, I will show you if I can get it out. All right, hold on. I got Twilight. She was looking kind of lonely there, so yeah, I thought I better grab her and uh, take her home with me. Believe it or not, this is actually the second pony product that I have bought. I actually bought the uh, the Friendship Express. So, uh, that's actually, I, I would suggest buying it. Um, if I could, I would go for the Season 1 DVD. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I would go for the Season 1 DVD, uh, as opposed to, you know, French Express and, um, the Royal Cantalot Wedding sets. Uh, so, yeah, uh, when I get home, I'm probably gonna. Well, I'm probably gonna destroy that beer that I told you guys about if I can get my hands on one. So, I'm probably gonna stop off at one of the local stores downtown. And uh, I will see you guys at home. So, yeah. Hey guys, uh, uh, okay, well, obviously I'm home right now and uh, got my beer here, you know, Coors Light, Silver Bullet, <clears throat> uh, tall boy, obviously, so uh, I got no idea if I'm going to be able to completely destroy this thing or anything like that. <clears throat> it is New Year's Eve today, and, um, yeah, it's about, uh, hold on. yeah, about 11.15 right now, so, yeah, alright, here goes. To the bronies. <clears throat> May 2013 be just as good as 2012. And, um, for all you bronies out there that are having a tough time, here's to you. I hope you get through it. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. So, here we go. Didn't mean for that to happen. <clears throat> don't try and t don't try and crush a tall boy. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up because <clears throat> um, not a lot left in there. Okay, so obviously I didn't do it properly because you're supposed to keep going. 
But <coughs> this is actually my first can crush, so <coughs> you know, try, you know, trying that on a tall boy. Not, I would not suggest it if it's your first can crush. <coughs> but um, anyways, I want to wish you guys the best of luck in 2013, and. Uh, Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you later.